Hello again, Jules fans. Welcome back to the latest episode of Jules in the Blood TV. It is Good Friday. It is Easter weekend. It's potentially pivotal for the Jules in their quest to stay in Skybet League One. It's about quarter past eight. I've just parked up the car. I'm walking towards Priestfield Stadium to get on the coach as we travel west to take on Michael Duff's Cheltenham Town. Huge game, regardless of the position of our opponents today. It's all about us and what we do. I think if we can pick up a point today and beat Fleetwood, it would represent a really good Easter. But obviously, we'll be striving for three points. Right, we'll bring you more footage as the day goes on. Just before two o'clock, I have arrived at Wadden Road, for those of a certain vintage, Johnny Rock Stadium, for those of a younger persuasion. Uh, and I am pleased to say, I am joined by the instantly recognisable EFL guru, Gabe Sutton, who's gonna give us our thought, give us his thoughts, sorry, on how today's proceedings might pan out. Gabe, first of all, are you well? I'm very well, thanks, Matt. Let me see you, pal. Yeah, and you, nice to meet you. Uh, what are you thinking today in terms, obviously, as a neutral? Yeah, yeah well, I'm really excited about this one because I think Cheltenham got really good aim form, playing some great football at the moment. Arthur May looks really dangerous, doesn't he? But on the other hand, Gillingham are going to be battling for safety, so really intrigued about how it's going to uh, pan out. I'm probably going to lean towards 2-1 um, to Cheltenham. Yeah, I can understand that in terms of their home form's been decent, hasn't it, yeah. over the last few weeks. I think, weirdly, the only, the only game they've lost in the last six at this place is, is Crew. Um, That's so weird, isn't it? Yeah, beaten, uh, uh, beaten well, Portsmouth wanna... kept a clean sheet. I think they've conceded four in two games in their last six in all competitions. But, yeah, I can understand from a neutral point of view. I, I, I'm, from a Jim's point of view, obviously, I'm slightly biased. And, and also, we have to take into account that we've not seen any team use. It, it, is, it is due imminently in the next couple of minutes. But I'm, I'm going to say one each, I think. Yeah, right. um, yeah. But in terms of, you've already mentioned Alfie May, in terms of, of key players for each side, who would, you, who would you lean towards in terms of a key player for each of the 11s? Yeah, well, I think um, Alfie May is going to be incredibly dangerous for Cheltenham. And what I like about him is just that movement. And he's so tenacious. And it's, it's his goals, but it's also his ability to get involved with the link-up play. Keon Atate did really well at Northampton in the first half of the season. He's done quite well at Cheltenham. Hasn't quite got among the goals just yet. Uh, Cheltenham will be hoping that changes. Uh, but obviously, Conor Masterson is someone I'm looking forward to seeing for the GLs as well. Interesting one, because he actually got hooked at half-time last week against Wickham when uh, Neil okay. Harris went to the 4-4-2 Garmin. But for me, I, I think he still has to start today. I wouldn't be going in going 4-4-2 from the off against a very decent Cheltenham side. But team news is due out soon. Thanks to Gabe for giving his thoughts pre-game. And we will bring you more footage as and when. In situ now out of the Johnny Rock Stadium and team news is in. It's about quarter past two. Jill's team sees two changes from last Saturday. He's creditable one on draw at home. The Wickham Wanderers, David Tatonda, only fit enough for the bench. After coming off early in that game, he's replaced by Robbie McKenzie at left wing back. And Captain Stuart O'Keefe is unfortunately not fit enough for the squad at all. So he misses out completely. Bit of a gamble, in my opinion, from Neil Harris. It means that Ben Thompson drops in alongside Ollie Lee. And Ben Reeves gets a first start in a while in the number 10. So that team in four is Aaron Chapman in goal. Three centre-backs are Jack Tucker, Max Emar, Connor Masterson. Then wing-backs, Robbie McKenzie already mentioned, and Ryan Jackson. It'll be Lee and Ben Thompson in the middle. Ben Reeves in the 10 behind the Dane Oliver and Charlie Kelman. In terms of the substitutes bench, there's a couple back. Daniel Phillips is fit to return to the 18, as is Gerald Sitol. So that gives us a few more attacking options if we need them to come on and change the game. Uh, in terms of the score prediction, um, I think the draw would be a very decent result as long as we win on Monday against Fleetwood. We know that's the, the bigger of the two, um, but that doesn't mean anything and take anything away from the importance of this game. So for me, I'm going to go for a score draw. I'm going to say a uh, score prediction of Cheltenham 1, Gillingham 1.
Gillingham's corner of the game. A couple of minutes play. Gotta go Gillingham's way. Been a positive start on the front foot. Here it comes. Very clear. Not small, are they? Not small at all. It's going to be another corner though. Second chance. Ben Reeves again. Reeves again. Get up. Sam Thompson to stay with us. Okay, Jack Tucker, that the best ball. We're going to be in trouble here. All over the top for Alfie May, but it's going to run out of play for a throw in. Still goal is five play. Stuart, a uh, promising start. Caller for Jules. Ryan Jackson, snapshot. Keeps up to make the decent save, but we're on top at the moment, I think, aren't we? I think we are. And I'd also say if we can miss the first member of the corners, then I think it's encouraging because we're attacking them well. Yeah, totally agree. But it's always been our problem this season. Set pieces that have not beat the front man. We'll stay with this and cross our fingers. What's he deleted for? He's a bit of handbags at the far post. Comes now, Ben Thompson. Oh, oh, good defending again. Back in the mix. Uh, yep. The muscles oh, switch on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jill's going to be tuning up. Uh, Keegan's just made a really good sign from Jack Tucker. We've messed up the corner, unfortunately. Still 1 0 up, but we've got a throw in. More defending to do for the Jules. Aaron Chapman's just made a really smart save. Cheltenham managed to work an angle. I think he saw it late. Down in the bottom corner for sure. We've got to defend this set piece. The referee's getting involved. Right, set piece now. Yeah. Robbie McKenzie's done well. Yeah. Yeah. Robbie McKenzie's done well again. Good defending. Eight to play. First proper chance they've created. A tenate down the left hand side, the one who's been swinging his arms all the time, does well to be fair. Um, Aaron Chapman makes a good save, doesn't it, in style. A bit takes a deflection, unfortunately, it lands at the feet of Callum Wright, has got a tap in. Frustrating, I think now we we'll probably need half time, don't we? I think so, yeah. We're not really playing much, but you'd expect that being one year up. But that said, it was literally the first real meaningful attack you know, I thought. Exactly, yeah. Aside from the one that Masters in charge down, yeah. Very fortunate. And uh, in terms of other results, Morecambe winning, um, Wimbledon winning, yeah. and uh, Fleetwood getting bashed at home. So, not a complete disaster, but obviously we need to concentrate on ourselves. Yeah. at the Johnny Rock Stadium. It's currently Cheltenham Town 1, Gillingham 1. Uh, Gillingham really good first 20-25 minutes. We're pressing really high loads of energy, hunting impacts. Really pinned Cheltenham back, weren't letting them get out. Um, not even into our half, not even out of their own third really. And then we scored a really good goal. I think it was uh, Ben Reeves that done really, really well to keep it alive after the initial ball had been cleared. And Connor Masterson with a smart flick on for Dane Oliver who was alert to prod it past the keeper and into the roof of the net. At that point you'd say we deserved our lead but unfortunately Cheltenham started coming back into it, had a bit of a spell and that eventually grew into something more substantial uh, and then eventually led to a leveller. Um, can we do better potentially? Uh, Tete, big centre forward of theirs, who's been swinging his arms around all half, not sure how he's not been booked personally. Uh, referee seems to have given him three or four last uh, warnings, but he does well, feeds Alfie May. Ball comes into the box and there's a shot that's deflected and Aaron Chapman does well to adjust his weight, make a save, but unfortunately it falls to the middle of the six yard box and Callum White was on there to slam it into an empty net. From that point, we needed half time. Uh, Cheltenham were the better side, they were on top. They'd done to us what we did to them first period of the game. Uh, it be a big team talk for Neil Harris. I think there's a, there's a problem in the middle of the park without Stuart O'Keefe. I think Ben Thompson and Ollie Lee and, and Ben Rees are all similar players, all want to do similar things. So it might be a half for Daniel Phillips if we can trust him to be disciplined and, and not get himself into trouble in terms of going into the referee's notepad. But um, more than winning, Wimbledon winning, Fleetwood losing. Um, obviously, it's all about us and what we do first. But yeah, big team talk for Neil Harris in score, you feel. Chance for Jill's free kick. What a foot outside the penalty area. Just started growing into this second half. I mean, it took a while to get going. It's going to be Ben Reeves or Ollie Lee. Delivery has to be good. But Dane Oliver being held again. Two of them on him. Hey, hey. Here it comes. Yeah. Goal! Oh. Keeper's flat's going to be. Oh. Oh, he throw into Jules. I'm short here with a throw, which is a bit different. Ben Thompson's oh. done well. Can he dig it across? Oh. Yes, he can. Oh. Yeah, Jack. Oh. 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 Dane Oliver, far post. 
keep it alive, keep it alive. Oh yeah. Go on, Ben. Go on, Ben. Yes. Lance Volley Leeds get ball in the box. Don't adjust your sets for Dane Oliver's just been given a free kick. Here he comes, Volley Lee. Be good. And pace! Yes! Yeah. 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 Oh, how's he not got in? Is he in the crossbar? Is he in the bar? Can he in the bar? Can he in the crossbar? Still 2 1. 67 played here at uh, Cheltenham. Uh, Jill's a bit the bar. We've already seen that one. Aaron Chapman's just made a good save, but Dane Oliver looks to be struggling with a hamstring problem. Huge, huge final period of the game. Uh, good save, Aaron Chapman. Really good save. Ball into our, got into our box too easy. Free header and he's clawed it over. Ball has been taken short. They've come all the way back, which is good. Charlie Kelman doing well to press. Back to the halfway line. Just stay with this clip into the box. Oh, and Jackson's done really well. He's going to have to be another corner to defend now, isn't it? 20 minutes plus injury time to see this out. Sheldon coming on strong against Stewart. Yeah. He's got a couple of shots, Charles down. Big block from Amar, call it to defend. Good defending. Good well there, Amar. He's got a hold tight here, buddy. It's going to be out swinging far in from us. Here he comes, flat one. He's gone all the way to the back row. He's back across. No, no, no. He's no. got in. It's too old. Aaron Chapman's got hand on it, but can't keep it out. And we're back to all square. Injury time to play. Masterson free kick. Oh, hello. It's one short Daniel Thank Phillips. Have a go. He's having a look. Little clip far post. Jack Tucker. Oh, Jack. Jack Tucker's oh, oh, had it back. Where's that gone? Oh, 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 no one there. No one there. Need to make sure they don't break now. We've got a lot of people out. Oh, oh, Jack Tucker's. Yeah, Jack Tucker tactical foul on the halfway line. Halfway through injury time here. Free kick to Gillingham. 25 yards out. Left of centre. It's going to be Ben Thompson by Dane Oliver, finally won a free kick. I think he's won two in 90 minutes. Ben Thompson, please. I'm just waiting for the referee to sort the wall out. Come on, Referee stepped away from the wall. Come on, Get ready for the rebound, boys. Comes the whistle. Ben Thompson. It's gone low, that is shocking. He's come back to Conor Masters. Yes! Oh, he's in the post! He's in the base of the post with a keeper motionless. It's going to be a throw in to Gilles. Connor Masters and the whip on the post from winning it. Now, for Dane Oliver's nearly won it. Bicycle could. I don't know how close it is. It's flash wide. Still too old. Free kick to defend it now. This is surely the last minute or so of the, of the game. Just waiting for the referee to sort the one. Do not let go. Oh. Do not let go. He's gone square, 30 yards out. It's come all the way back. Robbie McKenzie's done yeah. superb in the charge that down on the halfway line. Taking one for the team. I make that seven minutes. Two all should be it.